Ryder Cup 2023, Europeans dominate, and the USA pays the price. Did Zach Johnson make the wrong choice? Hello, golf enthusiasts, and welcome to the Golf Tours News Channel. Today, we're bringing you a story that will stir your emotions and leave you eager to share your thoughts in the comments below. Get ready for an epic journey through the twists and surprises of the Ryder Cup. But before we dive into this thrilling drama, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any fantastic golf content. Now, let's delve into this captivating story. This past weekend, the greens came alive, and the hearts of golf fans raced during a Ryder Cup that will go down in history. While Brooks Kepka, the lone LIV golf star to set foot on the course, gave it his all, famous names like Bryson DeChambeau and Dustin Johnson watched helplessly from the sidelines. Europe dominated the USA and took home the coveted trophy. The USA team captain, Zach Johnson, will undoubtedly regret his choices as he watched his LIV golf players being outperformed by Europe, resulting in the loss of the Ryder Cup. The European team dominated from day one at the Marco Simone course, with players like Rory McIlroy and Victor Hovland fending off a late surge from the Americans and winning by 16.5 to 11.5. On day three, the home team secured an impressive victory under the leadership of Captain Luke Donald, securing their first Ryder Cup win since 2018. Johnson's decision not to select LIV golf players like Dustin Johnson and Bryson DeChambeau, who had not earned enough points on the PGA Tour during their time in the LIV, proved disastrous. His choices, including Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth, Ricky Fowler, Sam Burns, and Colin Morikawa, struggled and set records for the wrong reasons over the weekend. Surprisingly, Brooks Kepka, the sole LIV representative, shone with a positive record of 1-1-1. While his counterparts watched from afar, his choices proved to be a colossal mistake. Bryson DeChambeau, in particular, expressed his frustration at not being selected, highlighting his recent victory in the LIV golf event last week. Amid the controversy, Sam Burns, Ricky Fowler, Brooks Kepka, Colin Morikawa, Jordan Spieth, and Justin Thomas were Zach Johnson's picks. They joined Patrick Cantlay, Wyndham Clark, Brian Harmon, Max Homa, Xander Schoffel, and Scotty Scheffler, who qualified automatically. Despite facing challenges this year, LIV golf players are determined to come back stronger in the next Ryder Cup, scheduled for 2025, after the merger with the PGA Tour. Golf fans around the world can hardly wait to see these stars in action again, promising an even more thrilling sports spectacle. Get ready because golf has never been this electrifying. So, folks, what do you think of this thrilling turnaround at the Ryder Cup? Leave your comments below and share your opinions with us. Who do you think should represent the USA in the next Ryder Cup in 2025? We want to hear your suggestions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting golf content. Until next time.